Early this morning, we kicked off our Wednesday with lots of cloud cover, although we did see a couple glimpses of sunshine. We'll end up staying dry for most of our day today before the arrival of snow showers into your Thursday. Some of us may even see several inches of snow. As of right now, we are seeing just a couple of really light showers further to the northwest, so mainly along that state line. May see a little bit of a drizzle, drizzle in and around Freeport, even into Greene County for southern Wisconsin. Otherwise, we'll hang on to lots of cloud cover and stay dry into the rest of your Wednesday. Temperatures will climb into those mid 40s, hitting 44 degrees in about an hour and staying there until we end up dropping closer to 4 p.m. right at 40 degrees by 6 o'clock this afternoon and evening as that cloud cover remains overhead. Overall, we'll stay dry today, not too much to worry about. Might notice a light breeze with winds gusting near 20 miles an hour, and the winds will start to settle heading into tonight as your temperatures will start to drop into those mid-30s. We continue to stay dry and quiet overnight, even early into your Thursday morning. And Thursday is when a lot of us will end up seeing a winter storm watch go into effect. It mainly concerns counties in and around that state line. So Boone, Winnebago, Stevenson, Joe Davis, Carroll, and your southern Wisconsin counties as well. This winter storm watch feature features a chance to see several inches. Some may get six, if not over that. That is all possible heading into your Thursday. Let's break it down here on future track. Now this is just one example of what track that system may take. Notice the further south that you are, the better chance you have of rain and snow mixing in. That'll lessen the chance of seeing a lot of snow. So the further north that you are, better chance you have of accumulating heavy snowfall. We'll end up heading into your afternoon. Here's just before 2.30 and 2 tomorrow. A lot of that snow slowly starts to build in. Again, still hanging on to those rain and snow showers closer to I-88. Heading into their evening, a lot more snow builds in and we may see it drop as far south as I-88. This is one of the scenarios we may see. You'll notice as we head into the overnight hours, a lot of that heavy snow really wants to stick around more northern Illinois into southern Wisconsin, and we may end up seeing lesser amounts as we may see a little bit more rain mixed in further south that you go. This continues early into Friday. That activity will slowly start to taper off as we head out the door early into the morning, but likely expecting some slushy conditions on those roadways as we kickstart our Friday. So keep that in mind. We still have a couple uncertainties in mind, so that track may shift just a little bit, obviously changing those snow totals. And along with that rain mixing in the further south that you go, those will impact also how much snow you may end up with. But early into Friday morning, you can expect some slushy and wet roads early into that commute as we do end up drying off Friday afternoon and for your Saturday. However, Saturday night into Sunday morning brings us another chance for some snow. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we end up dropping into the 30s as this entire system moves through. We'll stay cooler even through parts of that extended forecast, but at least we'll see some sunshine come Tuesday, Manny.